I overdosed on Saturday. Wait, she died. And I'm fucking crying, saying, please, no, don't die. And I'm crying and I'm like pumping air into her lungs. She's not gonna be able to like get sober because she's gonna always be thinking that there's drugs in that house. Well, that's I've been to like 32 rehabs. Wow. And I'm 30. She, so Brit, you're fucking wild, bro. This one's wild. Yeah, I could tell right away. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's her story? What happened with her? What happened with Brittany? Brittany, what happened with you? I opened my eyes. I was born. Okay. She what, what died. Do you mean? Like I, I, that was that's the problem. Is like I was born. <laughs> 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 that's what happened. No, I. What, what I mean is like. <laughs> No. I don't know how to live life. Yeah, I, I, I don't either. I get it. Um, I'm learning, but I'm curious what you've seen and what you've been through with her. A lot. Because I think that it... I, like, I overdosed on Saturday, and then I got out of the hospital. I picked her up from fucking the hospital. She found me in the hospital. I found her in the hospital, and then I... I talked to her parents and we're gonna bring her to the rehab the very next day. She convinces me to go back to her house because she knows that like that's where her drugs are. So she's not gonna be able to like get sober because she's gonna always be thinking that there's drugs in that house. Well, that's what addicts like to say. It's like, especially if you know you're going to treatment or you know, like, it's always like, I gotta get high one more last time. Yeah. Like, before getting sober, like my last shot. For sure. But was it, what did you say that though? Or we, you, you yeah, convinced like, me you needed your clothes. That's what it was. You needed clothes. So you went to her house and, and she just got yeah, loaded. She ended up getting loaded, but she did like a lot and she fucking like died. She, she was like this. She was like, and gone. And I'm like, no, I'm like <laughs> screaming, like, help. So I call 911 and they're like, okay. And they teach me how to do CPR. And I'm fucking crying, saying, please, no, don't die. And I'm crying and I'm like, pumping air into her lungs and then I'm like where are they where are they and they finally they can't find me they have no idea where we are fourth so they like take fourth and rose yeah in we're in Venice and she so I had to leave her there while she's unconscious and not breathing and I had to go find the police department or the fire department and then I like wave and they come they and then and then they come and they give her Narcan and then they bring her back Damn. She was gone, like, for a while. Like, there, she was blue already. And I just kind of, like, hurt, like, for me, like, I don't know. Like, I, it's blackness. And so you yeah. have these two different, like, perspectives right. of, like, the addict who's, like, overdosing or, like, whatever. And then the person who's witnessing it. Mm -hmm. And, like, and now then, I feel like I'm understanding the other side of it now because like i'm having to go through like friends and relationships who are like really struggling <coughs> and, and so i'm kind of getting a taste of like what it may have even been like yeah i'm watching now that you're sober for you now that i'm sober mm -hmm. yeah. and like the pain that comes with like watching and the powerlessness, <clears throat> really. Yeah. Okay, I've had to put take her through air, like the airport security, while she was like this, and I had to like hold her, or else she would have like tipped over. I was like shooting, in and the I had to tell TSA, everybody like, in TSA, like out. please, <laughs> like please, everyone Tuesday, please, just she, I'm taking her to rehab, and like we need to go, or we're gonna miss the flight. Wow. And like I had to go li literally like a hundred people in TSA. And I had to like take her with me in like, she would have like fell over. So did you get on the plane with her? Yeah. And you went there with her? Yeah, but I've been with, I've done that with her a couple times already. Cause you were her sober companion. Right. Probably like three or four times. Yeah. And, and, and then you went, so wait, you flew from here to where? Dude, everywhere. <laughs> Texas, Arizona, fucking where have oh, we gone? Sure. We've gone everywhere. Oh my yeah. god. She's I mean, I've been to like 32 rehabs. Wow. And I'm 30. Crazy. But you're, I mean, and now you're, you have a couple weeks. How do you, you don't know exactly how many days you have? That's weird. <laughs> 
you should. I should. Yeah. I mean, I so think how many days does. do you have? I have. Oh, I'm still smoking Let's... pot. You right are. So you yeah, are. yeah. We, we have to. Uh... Okay. Well, I guess, yeah. I mean, good. Like, Be honest. I'm no, glad I you're am honest. honest about it, and like, I don't have like an issue like with that. Like, I'm okay with it. But it does kind of suck because I, I'm not going to call that like sober because I know. Yeah, it's like, not. not but also, it's not about the pot or the whatever. It's about your mi our minds. You know, it's about and our also, mind. So so the pot she has a boyfriend will lead to. Rehab, who can't be, who needs to be sober too. So I just like, I just went through like a whole thing. So like. My boyfriend, who was at a year program in Alina Lodge in New Jersey, and last Tuesday I get a phone call that he walked out. He's like at a restaurant in Mill, New Jersey, and you know I get the phone call like, "Help me!" And he wouldn't go back, so of course I like step in and enable whatever you want to call it, um, and get him a Greyhound bus ticket. And so he's on the Greyhound for two and a half days from New Jersey to. LA I pick him up um, comes back to my home next morning I go to work asked to borrow my car number like obviously another mistake hindsight like I give him my keys he's gone for the next like 24 to 35 hours um, like tries to kill himself overdoses on like <clears throat> meth fentanyl and all of that Long story short, I like find him in Long Beach at like these public restrooms, like twacked out. Had to take him to the hospital for Odin and um, like spent the next like five days like talking with his family who I really don't even know. And um, he was willing to go back to Alina Lodge. So like two days ago, I flew him back to New Jersey. So I flew to New Jersey and then they just came to the airport and I flew back. Mm, home that was just like a couple of days ago. Yeah, that was like a day and a half, day and a half mm. ago. So it's just crazy how like, it's almost like a circle. Like she helped me and then like, I'm able to help like the, the next person. Yeah, but we, we gotta keep coming to our meeting on Mondays <laughs> at 7.30. Right out here every Monday, 7.30 on this YouTube channel. And um, maybe we can get you off the pot too. You want, are, are you, you should do some steps with Danielle. But like, so you, the, the, you saying that, like coming from like a person who doesn't know us that well, who's in recover, early, early recover, like Rudy too, like being able to have like that kind of environment where somebody who's maybe not even sober yet can just be around people who are sober and know that it's possible yeah we're i'm spoiled because all of COVID have been like it's been the same for me except for i don't go to meetings which i don't think i'll ever go to again not after the ass folded incident yeah. <laughs> but what were you saying about <laughs> this place like that's cool yeah, I mean, look, like, I'm newly sober, don't have family around, have, like, a couple friends, but it's really just, a lot of times I feel like me and I'm so isolated and, like, live by myself. It's nice to have, like, a hangout. It's almost like home base, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like. Yeah, I feel like you can even be here more. I definitely could be here more. It almost makes me want to open, like, one of those, like, just like safe like spaces for like mm. like some not like a community center like a rec but like a, a home where like yeah but you you can't create what mm. is here no 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 like you all. can't just like pop up a house and be like all right we're gonna have this like come on in everyone and yeah. you get like the wrong people mm -hmm. and it's like a weird like this took like a long time and it's almost like when you build a business or a brand it's like it doesn't get good for like years until you have that like yeah it's like credibility and like the relationships are deep and like like steve just hit me up like he might come by and like he's well and 
the other reason this is your home that you've like opened up to and that's why it's so special it's not just like right a place you yeah. know and, and i'm sober like dead fucking serious about it yeah. but my wife is like absolutely not yeah so we i can't judge i won't judge you mm -hmm. know like her and sean would get high right now they'd be getting high if she wasn't getting her tits done next week mm -hmm. but she is so she can't smoke weed so she's a little yeah. bit irritable but this guy sean is just like her and sean is just like high all the time you know and it's not just that they're smoking weed like she fucks with mushrooms and acid but she doesn't like do like heroin or any of that shit but like that i i, I love that feeling well, there's no casual hair on use. 